Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm going to show you stuff that I bought, some products that I bought that I'm excited about to try and talk about on my channel. I got some requests from you guys or some of you left the comments in my videos wanted me to show you what products do I use, what products do I buy, what products do I put my money into and you, you were kind of curious to see. So today I thought that I will show you a couple of products talk about some some I've tried some I still haven't had chance to try so if you're interested to see that then please keep on watching the first two products that I got is not something new it's been there for a while but I didn't have chance to try is these wet and wild highlighters now I got the shade precious petals and blossom glow and uh, I don't, they're beautiful. This one is a little bit too dark for me right now. This is the Precious Petals, will be perfect in the summer. And this other one, is, they're nice, Blossom Glow. They are very nice. Um, they are very highlighted. They're very, very beautiful. But I do prefer other highlighters like Ufra highlighters, Jacqueline Hill highlighters. Nikia Joyce highlighters, those I use or grab for, grab more because those undertones I like a little bit more than these, but I can see myself using this one in the summer. This one is more pink, it's not something that I usual, usually wear, but um, I'm glad that I got them. I can, I still need to play with them, uh, but yeah, I've heard so much positive things about these highlighters, I had to have them in my collection. Then I do try out the Curly Girl method or I'm inspired with, with that met method. Not right now because I um, just got my hair done, but I needed a brush. And I heard that this one will be good for curly hair. This is classic styling brush from Denman. Denman, Denman. Um, I don't know if, I'm, or if I pronounce it wrong, right or wrong, but this is a pretty good, nice brush. I mean, I didn't even open it. I don't know. Um, people really like it. It feels very nice. So I'm curious to try it out and see how much I like it or not. Uh, especially when I do that curly method and want to curl my hair and, my nat and let my natural curls come through. So I'm kind of curious to see that. Also for my hair, I did got this uh, Deva Curl Deva Towel. Anti-freeze microfiber towel. Now. I know there are some problems with Deva Curls products. Uh, I've seen videos and I was actually curious to try them before, and they, but they were not available in Sweden. They were released here in Sweden for maybe a month ago and I had them in my card. But something just didn't, I don't know why I didn't purchase it. And it was a good <laughs> that I didn't purchase it because then two days after that, when they came to Sweden, the video was released where people were talking about the product problem with their hair that they got because of the products from Deva Curl. Now, some people swear by it before, but after a couple of months or years, they start losing hair, the hair looked dry and damaged, so I didn't purchase them. But I did purchase the anti-freeze microfiber towel because I already have like those, not towels, but you know, the ones that you, what's it called, is it a towel? I don't know, can't pronounce it. I already have some microfiber towels for the hair, but I really wanted to try this one. And this one is bigger than the one that I have that you kind of put your around the head and just turn. Um, so I'm interested to try it out. Now for the hair, uh, I went and uh, found out about the All Herbal, All Herbal Natural Ingredients Shampoo for Curly Hair, Elastic and Soft Curls and without official coloring, without bad stuff. Ink shampoo for curly and unruly hair with hops extract. Gently cleanses curly and unruly hair. Do not en entangle your hair, give curls elasticity and shine. The formula contains olive oil and la lastis, lactic proteins free from SLES, SLS, silicone and artificial coloring. This sounded like a very good product. Now this one broke, uh, the packaging broke when it arrived, but it doesn't bother me. 
and it smells natural. <laughs> It smells natural. But I'm kind of curious to try it. I, I do have others that I'm using that I also like. But kind of curious to try something new because I get bored using the same product. But I also got the conditioner from same brand. And I'll definitely try them out. Then for my hair, I did got this spa headband. Sheila's spa headband. Especially when I apply my makeup. And um, I felt like I need something like that, especially when I do my makeup. There are two of them. When I do my makeup, I can wrap this around my hair like this or, you know, get rid of my hair when I apply my makeup. And I'm kind of excited. I always wanted to try something like this. And now I got a very good price. Um, and they, they feel very nice. They also feel like microfiber so it won't da damage my hair. So I got two of these. Then I did got the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Oh, wait, I need to buy. So guys, I'm sorry. I just stopped filming because I remembered when I was talking about Jaclyn Hill palette that Jeffree Star just released his new palette and I ran to the phone and I got my hands on it from Beautylish. So I can't wait. It will take two weeks for it to arrive from, to me, but can't wait to get that palette. Now, I purchased that one. <laughs> I did got this palette and I just filmed two videos. Uh, I will link them down uh, up here so you can watch them. Uh, first was two makeup looks with the colorful and then one with natural. I also used it today for, to create this makeup, but I do have other eyeshadows on too and I do like it I've been liking it more and more uh, for each time I'll be using it so it's a good palette the one I also bought is the Anastasia and Amrezi palette I do like this palette too it's very beautiful I'm not a big fan of the glitter shades in here this one and this one I tried them it's not for me um, but the other shades are very very beautiful I really like this palette the other thing that I'm very curious to try is this uh, Goldwell's Styling style Goldwell's Curling Twist. Moisturizing Curl Cream, uh, Curl Control Number 2. And um, this is supposed to make flexible, elastic and flexible curls. So it doesn't, the, the curl do, doesn't look harsh and, uh, and heavy. So I'm very curious to try this product. It smells nice maybe more like a hand cream but it doesn't smell terrible um and i'm kind of curious to try it out i haven't tried anything from goldwell before i'm trying out the curl products for the hair uh just because sometimes i like to lay my hair air dry in it in, in its natural way and also may help my curl to be more visible the other thing that i got and also tried actually is this comb tending detangling comb and i like it i like it it's really good it's easy to use it detangles my hair very easy i like it my hair looks like a mess right now um but i like it and uh, it's it's the brand kashnoki kashnoki can't pronounce it. Strange name, but I like this one. Then uh, two other favorites that I've used. I think I tried this mask. It's a mascara, a mascara for a long time ago. This is the uh, L'Oreal Telescopic mascara. This is in uh, magnetic black, multicam, lengthening uh, to the extreme. I do have right now this one that it's telescopic false lash that I use and I like actually doesn't smudge it looks very nice I like this mascara uh, but I think I tried this years 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 ago I need a new mascara so I ordered three this the one that I just show you this one and also one of my old favorites it's L'Oreal Paradise L'Oreal mascaras are amazing I really like them and it's the only one that don't smudge uh, and don't flake so I like that. Raw Christy Beauty is a YouTuber that I really love watching. She's amazing. She's funny. I love her videos. And she always talks about this lipstick. This is Wet n Wild uh, Mocalicious lipstick. Now it's a little bit darker than I expected, expect, 
than I expected because she always puts it in the center, but for me, it's very dark. I don't know if I bought wrong shade. I think she said Mockalicious. Uh, it's a beautiful shade. I do like using it, but it's very dark. Darker than I really thought it would be. I thought it would be maybe lighter, uh, but I like it. I'll check out her videos again and see if I bought the wrong shade, but I like Wet n Wild's lipstick. This is the first lipstick I tried like this bullet with lipstick from Wet n Wild and I really enjoy it. It's not expensive at all so I will definitely check out more shades but I can see why she likes the texture and why she likes the um, pigmentation of the lipstick. Now some other th things that I bought is actually from Rebecca Stella. Her two li lip pens. Rebecca Stella had her own makeup line years ago and I think I have for two years ago I have a video where I reviewed her foundation I think I still have it I think I still have her foundation there are some other products that are really yes I do uh, this foundation it was years ago and I really like it it's thick foundation doesn't smell good I still have it I don't use it this is expired so old but I do uh, keep it for um, comparing other and that one is actually really good the foundation I liked her brand I also have another lip pen that I have somewhere in my purse I always take it with me now she she rebranded her brand this is Rebecca Stella makeup uh, all about that base foundation now she rebranded the brand she doesn't sell that foundation anymore but she started with her lip pens lip liners and also she has just released their new skincare products which looks very amazing if you like that glowy look she looks stunning now they are very popular they are always out of stock these lip pens always out of stock people are loving it people are getting crazy every time she, she uh, every time they come out people buy everything 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 and i always try to be very fast never succeeded until two weeks ago so this is the lip liners this is number one and number two she only says the names one and two she's teasing us with more shades on her instagram but this is number one very creamy and very nice i tried one of them i think number one on my lips the other day and i really liked it this is number two that's more nude this has more like that pink purple undertone this is more brown and i really like it they are very nice very soft and i can't wait to see her release more shades they are very popular people are loving it so she did rebrand her brand and she is going to release more makeup product and i'm excited about it. i really like her uh, brand so far i liked her products before now two more things that i didn't actually buy I got up from my sister, but I wanted to show you and share it with you guys because I've been loving them. This is the Organic Shops, a delicious treat, buddy dessert, bath foam, Car Caribbean fruit cocktail. This smells like heaven. So sweet. Uh, smells delicious. And it says, don't eat. Uh, recipe, mango, butter, organic lishi lixtric extract coconut oil organic green lime and it says here this product might seem delicious but that's for your skin only do not eat it because it smells so good i also have the other one this one is anti-stress bath foam candy floss also smells so good mm. really really Leaves my skin very nice and very soft. I take a little bit of it, put it in my bathtub and just relaxing in my bathtub, enjoying every moment because it's, this smells so, so nice. Now, guys, I think that was everything that I bought. I do have other products that I bought a long time ago, but I still haven't used it. I also bought this L'Oreal in infallible magic setting spray that I didn't even open. I don't know going to try that one too uh, there are some other products that i bought and and i am using it that i didn't really talk about so much on my channel and it's not because 
I'm hiding them or something, just something that I have it in my daily routine. I tried them, I didn't have time to film, and um, it feels so weird to talk about it right now, but I will talk about it later in my empty videos about the products I'm using, and also I think I will collect some product that I bought these couple of months that I'll be using and tell you guys what do, what do I think about them. Do I like them or don't like them? How are they all working for me? Now, I think it's very good to be updated because even if I try something for the first time and don't like, doesn't mean that I'm not going to change my opinion. Like with the, the Jeffrey, Jack and Hill and Morphe palette, the volume two palette, the first video, it was very hard for me to work with it. I did like the colors. I did uh, like uh, work playing with it, but it was very hard to work with. I was a little bit disappointed. Then when I did the other other video, creating another makeup look, I loved the palette. Also, when I created this makeup look, I loved the loved the, the palette. So as I'm playing with it a little bit more, more and more, I get attached to the product. So. I do want to update you guys and tell you now when I'm trying out the stuff, what do I really think about them. So if you're interested to see that, please let me know down below. If there is any product you're curious about, do you want to see me try a product, buy and try it, please let me know down below. Thank you for, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and notification bell, and i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.